fastest growing city in Malawi. As the country's capital, Lilongwe's growth has been hampered by a critical ongoing shortage of water. The city's main water sources, the Kamuzu 1 and 2 dams, with their limited catchments, aren't able to supply Lilongwe's rapidly growing population. Lilongwe's water board had to find a more reliable water supply. They looked at numerous options like boreholes, new dams, and increasing the capacity of the existing dams. Kamuzu 1's wall will be raised by the year 2021 to increase capacity, but this will still fall short of the anticipated demand. A new dam at Diampui was considered, but many people would have to be relocated and farming land would be flooded, so this option was discarded. Sourcing water from Lake Malawi was also investigated. Experts calculated that the amount of water Lilongwe needs would drop the level of the lake by only one millimeter per year, even if there was no rainfall or inflow into the lake. With this option in mind, four routes for the water pipeline were considered. This led to one route being chosen as the best option for supplying water to Lilongwe and its surrounds. A 1.2 meter diameter water pipeline of 112 kilometer will now be built to supply 100 million liters of water per day. It will start at Leopard Bay, nearly full and mostly follow alongside existing roads. Provision has been made to supply water to communities along the pipeline route. Powerful pumps will be used to pump the water over the 835 meters high mountains before it flows downhill by gravity to the existing Kaneng reservoirs in Lilongwe. The pumping will be done in three stages to manage high water pressure. These pumps are capable of pumping 100,000 tons of water each day. This is equivalent to 1,150 kilograms every second. Let's look at the project in more detail. At Leopard Bay, an intake tower will be built in the lake 500 meters from the shore. Three underwater pumps in this tower, two operating and one standby, will draw water from the lake and pump it over a height of 14 meters through two 800 millimeter pipes along the bridge to the shore. On shore, the water will go into a water treatment plant at Lifu to be cleaned. The Lifu plant will consist of a number of structures. There will be a substation, a set of generators capable of producing 7.5 megawatts of electricity, an administration block and chlorination plant for cleaning the water, a pump house containing three powerful pumps, three reservoirs, and 22 high-pressure sun filters. Water from the lake is first pumped through the sun filters to have dirt removed from it. The dirt is pumped into ponds where it can be dried and eventually disposed of. The filtered water is then made safe to drink using ultraviolet light and chlorine. This is a technique that is used for killing water germs all over the world. The cleaned water is stored in concrete reservoirs. From here, the high pressure pumps then push the water 240 meters uphill to reservoirs at Katengiza, 50 kilometers away. The Katengiza works will contain two reservoirs, another pump house with three powerful pumps, an additional set of 7.5 megawatts emergency power generators and a substation. Special valves along the water pipeline can stop the water if repairs need to be done or if other pipes need to be added. From Katengiza, the water will be pumped a further 255 meters uphill to reservoirs near Mvera, 14 kilometers away. The Mvera works will also have 7.5 megawatts emergency power generators, two reservoirs, another pump house with three powerful pumps, and a substation across the road. From Vera, 
the water gets pumped another 325 meters uphill to two reservoirs 12 kilometers away near Doha Tenov. From here, it flows downhill by gravity to the existing reservoirs at Kanengo in Lilongwe. Once in Lilongwe, it will be distributed to 62 areas around the city. The plan is that everyone in Lilongwe will have reliable access to safe drinking water. Two special machines will be used to dig trenches for the water pipeline. Each of these machines is capable of digging at a rate of up to two kilometers per day. Where the water pipeline crosses rail lines or roads, it will be laid underground without affecting traffic. Pipe bridges will be built to cross some of the main rivers. Eskom power will be used during off-peak hours. The 7.5 megawatt diesel generators at each pump station will be used as backup in the event of power failures. Alternative power sources such as solar power and wind turbines have been considered to supplement the energy from Eskom. The new water pipeline will solve Lilongwe's drinking water problems. During construction, the project will create more than 4,000 jobs. These will include more than 1,500 direct jobs and at least 2,500 indirect jobs. For the future operation and maintenance of the water pipeline, additional people will also have to be employed. A reliable, clean drinking water supply for the long way will benefit the communities and have a positive impact on people's lives for many years into the future. Thank you.